Hello friends, now I will discuss a swing equation in power systems. Here, as you all seen in the last class, we have discussed about uh, the dynamics of synchronous machine and uh, how the equations are represented in various combinations. Now I am going for swing equation. Why is swing equation used? Swing equation is used to discuss or analyze the stability. Okay, swing equation is used to analyze the stability of multi-connected multi-connected systems or multi-machine connected systems okay so when there are a lot of machines to analyze the stability we need swing equation for this let us first generalize the information for one single uh, machine let us consider a synchronous machine so synchronous machine whenever I am considering here TSH it is the shaft torque TSH is the shaft torque and TEM it is the electromagnetic torque for the synchronous machine which you have taken okay so as per your lens law what happens whenever we know what is lens law statement effect opposite the cause so therefore TSH and TEM will be opposite will be opposite to each other so following these guidelines and now write the formula for accelerating torque which is given by tj is equal to tsh minus tem so i know the equation as j into d square theta m by dt square is equal to tsh minus tem therefore if you multiply both sides of the above equation with omega sm so therefore I am multiplying this equation with omega sm and this equation with omega sm see the RHS side you are having power uh, torque into speed which gives you power so therefore I can directly write uh, TSH into omega sm is uh, PSH or simply it's a mechanical power I will represent in PM minus TEM into omega SM it gives me P so on the left hand side part I know omega SM value as 2 by P into omega S therefore I will write here in the place of omega S 2 by P into omega S so omega SM is written as 2 by P into omega S so the next one is J into so I will keep here J as it is here no problem so we know the relation between theta electrical by theta mechanical uh, it is uh, given by theta electrical by theta mechanical is equal to 2 by p so theta mechanical, theta mechanical is equal to 2 by p into theta electrical so therefore this mechanical degrees are now converted to electrical degrees using the relation t square theta e by dt square into 2 by p so here I have used the relation theta electrical for remembrance theta electrical by theta mechanical is equal to P by 2 please remember this one I have used this relation and by using that I have converted this mechanical degrees I want means I'll, I must uh, send this theta to the other side so therefore I will get theta m is equal to 2 by P into theta i here I have used that concept in the last uh, dynamics of synchronous machine class we have seen that moment of inertia m is equal to j into 2 by P whole square into omega s now i will use this in the place of lhs so therefore i will get m into d square theta e by dt square is equal to pm minus pe so i will let this uh, pm minus pe as pa okay so you know every synchronous machine in every synchronous machine we have a relation that is theta e is equal to omega s into t plus delta the load angle ok try to remember this formula theta e is equal to omega s into t plus delta now I will differentiate both sides with respect to t so therefore I will get the del d theta e by dt is equal to omega s plus d delta by dt now I will I'll, I'll differentiate one more time so that I am going to get d square theta e by dt square is equal to d square delta by dt square so you can ask me how you get that uh, relation so uh, with with our uh, basical 
uh, representations within the fields. I can show you like this. So therefore, this one is your uh, reference axis, and this one is uh, delta, and this one is theta. Okay. So this one is your rotor field. So I can uh, draw and show you like this. Okay. So therefore, I now I am going to use this relation. Which relation? D square theta e by dt square is equal to d square delta by dt square. Now I will go to my earlier equation that is uh, m into d square theta e by dt square is equal to pm minus uh, p. So this pm minus p can be approximated as a pa accelerating power and in the place of uh, d square delta by dt square I can substitute d square uh, delta by dt square in the place of d square theta e by dt square. So therefore I will get m into d square delta by dt square is equal to pa. So this one is called as uh, your required sing equation. So let us see various forms. So here we can replace d square delta by dt square with the term called as alpha. Alpha is your uh, acceleration. Okay. So therefore another form of sing equation is m into alpha is equal to PA. You can also represent like this. Right. So how many forms you have seen? First form, different forms of sing equation you shall see now. First form of the sing equation, the standard form, m into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm minus p. The second form, you can replace this d square delta by dt square with alpha. So m into alpha is equal to, you can replace pm minus p with pa. Or you can also represent uh, using the same coordinates d square delta by dt square into m is equal to pa. Uh, you can replace uh, the value of uh, m using the dynamics of synchronous machine as m is gh by pi f. gh by pi f into d square delta by dt square is equal to pa. You must remember that delta which you are representing it should be in electrical degrees. So don't get confused while doing the problems. This uh, delta should be in electrical degrees. And also you can represent in another form also. You can replace the value of pi as gh by 180 times of f into d square delta by dt square is equal to pa. Or in terms of per unit if you want to represent, you can show, you can uh, remove this uh, g from here if per unit representation is required. So h by pi f h by pi f into d square delta by dt square is equal to pa. This is per unit representation. Now, let us see some important conclusions from this thing equation. You are always defining steady state. So, under steady state what happens? Under steady state, we already know that pm should be equal to p. So if PM is equal to PE, then what about PA? PA is given as PM minus PE. So that will be 0. So therefore, what about sing equation? M into D square delta by DT square is equal to PM minus P is approximately equal to PA is equal to 0. Since M, if you observe properly here, it is uh, nothing but M into D square delta by DT square is equal to 0. Since here M is a numerical value, m can never be equal to 0. So what happens here? d square delta by dt square should be equal to 0. So that implies d delta by dt is a constant. Unless d delta by dt is a constant only, we can represent d square delta by dt square as 0. So therefore, it indicates that what it indicates? It indicates that speed is constant. So d delta by dt means it represents speed. So, speed is constant. Speed is constant. Very, very important conclusion. Try to remember this properly.